everyone, welcome to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. I do not know why. I just, I love filming these videos. So yeah, we're just gonna get into it. So I'm going to be in a full face of Makeup Academy Cosmetics. Last Friday I went on to their website and I just picked out enough products to do just basically an entire face from primer to mascara, everything. So I've recently been wanting to do quite a lot of these videos so obviously today I'm going to be starting off with MEA Cosmetics and wanting to do my Revolution Colourpop collection. So if there's any other full face of one brand makeup tutorials you're wanting me to do just let me know in the comments section. I'm really really looking forward to doing MEA Cosmetics because MEA Cosmetics really holds a special place in my heart because whenever I first got into makeup way before I started my YouTube channel I did not have any high-end makeup. MAC was so expensive to me. I just did not have the money for high-end makeup. So whenever I started to actually teach myself makeup basically and just practice makeup on myself, um, I used a lot of MEA cosmetics because it's cheap, it's affordable and the products aren't too bad. Obviously at night the brand has been around for quite a long time so they kind of have upped their game a wee bit in terms of their quality and their products. So most of the products that I have bought today I haven't actually tried before so this should be quite interesting. So yeah we're just gonna get into it so i think the whole full face came to 45 pounds but i had a 20 percent off discount code so that took it down to 37 and i got a free makeup bag so i bought two primers this is the mea pro base moisturizing primer so from what i can remember on the website there was different colors ones for different skin types obviously because i would have normal to dry skin i got the moisturizing one i do not have oily skin and i don't necessarily have problems with my pores so therefore i just don't tend to aim towards those type of primers and i actually like the packaging of this i actually love the color i think it's really really nice so this is the pro base moisturizing primer with vitamins A and E and tea tree oil. But that's just what it looks like there. It actually just looks like a moisturizer. Oh my goodness. Okay so straight away it's water based. It's just breaking down to like a water if that makes sense. Like if you ever tried the Glam Glow water burst moisturizer it literally feels like that. It definitely feels very very moisturizing and hydrating. It's not necessarily a primer that is going to kind of do anything to my skin. It's just going to hydrate my skin for the application of makeup. It's not going to do anything la -di da or special. But yeah, that actually feels quite nice actually. I'm gonna actually put on a wee bit more because that actually felt really nice to actually blend in. <laughs> So I'm just going to let that sink into the skin for a few seconds. So while I'm doing that, the other primer I got, well, I wouldn't necessarily say this is a primer, but it's just like an illuminating primer or just like an illuminating cream to apply under your foundation. So this is the Undress Your Skin Illuminating Glow Cream liquid glow sorry, and this is in the shade Oyster. Now, whenever I used to use MUI, I loved these. I absolutely loved these and I actually still have quite a few of them actually. So these are the two that I do have. So we have Oyster and we have Champagne. Obviously the clue is in the name. It's just a liquid illuminating glow highlight thing. A my jiggy. <laughs> Wear this below your foundation or alone for just like a natural glow. But this product is so nice. Um... I don't know if you'll be able to say that or not, but it just gives the most natural glow to the skin. It just makes your skin just look so luscious and just full of a luster. That's just what it looks like on the skin. I absolutely love this wee product and it was actually on sale on the website for 2 50 I think it was. Usually it is £4, which actually still isn't that expensive considering the amount of product you're going to get. I honestly love this wee product. It just makes your skin look absolutely gorgeous, just to have like a nice healthy glow. Next up we have foundation. Now, this is the Skin Define Matte Perfect Foundation. I got the shade Natural Ivory. I have not even pumped it out yet to see what the shade is like. Hopefully it's okay, but one thing I will say about the shades in this foundation, 
<laughs> oh my god, I would say there was about six, maybe five, six shades of this foundation to choose from. What the hell? Oh, okay. That actually doesn't look too bad. Another thing I noticed about the shades was they all looked very, very similar. Like, they all looked very cool toned shades and like very ashy. I think this was the lightest shade that I could go for, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just going to start off with, whoa, a pump and a half. Just going to use this on my dirty tart sponge. Um, just going to start at the bottom of my face and work my way up, just like I always do. I'm just going to start by pressing this into the skin. So are you able to get MEA Cosmetics in America or is it just the UK? Because I, I have no idea. Oh my god. Do you know what? This is going to kill me to say this but I actually don't mind that. <laughs> Apart from the fact that the colour is a wee bit off, <laughs> um, that is blending out perfect. The coverage is perfect. It's sitting on my skin perfect. It's not patchy. It is even. It's flawless. Right, I'm just going to finish off my forehead and wonder what the hell is going on. <laughs> like if somebody gave me that foundation and hid the label and they said to me put that on and tell me what drugstore brand that was, I would honestly say like Maybelline or something. I'm not even joking. Oh my god, I can't actually believe that. That's basically one layer of the foundation. It should just be interesting to see how this wears throughout the day and how this foundation looks with other products applied on top of it and how they all go together. And I'm guessing this is a new concealer of theirs. So this is the Pro Base Full Coverage Concealer. So this is in the shade 100 or 100. Whoa. <laughs> we are going to be hella highlighted today. Jesus. MEA concealers are notorious for being shit. <laughs> I have had MEA concealers in the past, obviously, and they're just not notorious for it whenever you actually apply them to the skin on top of your foundation and you go to blend the product in and it just lifts up all the foundation and all the underlying product that's underneath. <sighs> because this is so light, I'm just going to do a couple of wee dots. I'm just going to start on my under eyes first because I don't want to do my usual um, under eyes, nose and chin area just in case this does lift up the foundation. <laughs> I just hope that this works. Okay, we're looking good. We are looking good. Now that we've tested it and it seems to be kind of promising. I'm just going to go in with a wee bit more and highlight the rest of my face and do a wee bit more concealing underneath my eyes. I don't need them necessarily concealed but I just want to add a wee bit more concealer just to highlight that area. From what I can see there isn't much coverage with the concealer. It's just brightening which I'm actually okay about that because every time I put a foundation on I always build up my coverage to Full coverage anyway and I usually do not use concealer to conceal dark circles under my eyes. I'm only 25, I have no problems, I do not have dark circles. I have no worries in the world thankfully. So what I use concealer for is to brighten up my under eyes and kind of like highlight and balance out my face. I cannot believe this is MEA. What the hell? Look at my skin. Look at my skin. I am so shocked right now. <laughs> Such a sin saying this, but I am so shocked right now. I was not expecting that. You know whenever you just get really, really cheap products and you just, you have high hopes, but you're just not expecting much. That concealer blended perfectly over that foundation. Again, it looks absolutely flawless. It's definitely brightened and highlighted. It hasn't necessarily concealed anything because I say it hasn't got much coverage, but because the foundation has good coverage, not a problem. <laughs> okay, so next up I'm just going to set my face and I do not know what I was thinking. For setting powder, I got an illuminating lilac setting powder. I got a shimmering purple powder to set my face. What? 
What on God's earth was I thinking? <laughs> I don't want to use this. I am so happy with my face right now. This is what it looks like here and as you can see it is lilac. So we just go for it anyway and if it fucks it up we can all laugh or cry together. <laughs> oh I'm scared. Okay so I don't know if you can see on camera but in person my under eyes are lilac. <laughs> There, can you see? You can see like a wee tinge of lilac. Fuckers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so this is the MEA Transparent Pressed Setting Powder and it is literally white. I'm just going to try and dust this away and see what we have left. No, 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 no. We are purple. We have a tinge of purple on our face. Just looks like I'm very ashy under my eyes. Like, I'm sure you can definitely see on camera. So, I came across the MUA Lux Light Luster Highlight Geo. So, this comes with a cream highlight, which I will never use, and a powder highlight. Just give it a wee finger swatchy wee. Okay, it actually doesn't look too bad. Looks very powdery, looks very yellow. Not necessarily a highlight I would ever use. You just probably can't see that because I'm the worst person at swatching ever. <laughs> Something went up my nose there and I do not know what it was. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely quite like that. It's obviously not as blinding as my Colourpop Flexitarian highlight, but let's just face it, nothing is. Although in saying that, it actually is coming off nicer on the skin as it was swatched. Whenever I had it swatched, it looked more of like a gold highlight and it did look very powdery, but now that I'm actually blending it into the skin and I'm being quite dense with my brush, if that makes sense, um, it's actually quite nice. So next up we have blusher and I'm guessing that these are new blushers. They look very like the Milani blushers, don't they? So this is the Blushed Shimmer Powder Blush and this is in the shade Pink Champagne. Um, I do prefer matte blushes because I put so much highlight on, um, the last thing I need is more shimmer. <laughs> um, but the shade of this blush kind of reminds me like, of NARS Orgasm. It kind of has that peachy coral, like, gold shimmer thing going on. Hopefully this blush has more colour payoff than shimmer though. Okay, I can see a wee bit of shimmer or colour. You can definitely see it, but I just don't necessarily like blush with shimmer through it. But next up to bronze, and this is just their matte bronzing powder. This, on the other hand, I definitely did look and see whether I was buying a shimmer bronzer or a matte bronzer. Shimmer bronzers, I just do not do a shimmer bronzer at all. I always, always, always used to use MEA bronzers for the price of them. They are so fab, they are so good. Oh, Definitely pigmented enough, but they're not overly pigmented where you can have it, have it as like a subtle bronze or you can build up. Next up is eyebrows. Eyebrows is definitely something that I do not like to change on. Um, if I'm doing like a full face of makeup, I'll just be like, I'm just going to stay with my usual. I actually used to use this though, so it's not that bad. So this is the MUA Lux Brow Pomade. I got mine in the shade Medium Brown. I know whenever I did use this, I used to get dark brown because this was back whenever I had my eyebrows like the McDonald's arches. I'm trying not to curse as, mu as much in my videos these days. Um, <laughs> It's proving a bit of a challenge. It does look very orange and it does look very warm. Um, so I don't know. So just in case you are wondering, the eyebrows that I always use is the Kira Daily eyebrows and it just has the wee spoolie at the end. I actually have a discount code with Kira Daily brushes. It's not affiliate, I make nothing of it, um, but it is down below. I can't actually remember how much it is, but yeah.
Okay, so that is the eyebrows done. The colour actually isn't that bad. It's actually not as bad as I was expecting it to be, so I'm actually quite happy with the colour. Obviously, I have used this before, so I knew what to expect. So I just got one eyeshadow palette. This was the eyeshadow palette that appealed to me the most out of all of them, mainly because of the colours. I just thought the colours were really, really nice. I'm loving this shade here and these red shades. And then I got two glitters. So this is the Ultra Sparkle Duo glitter pigments eco-friendly so it does has like a fine glitter and then it just has like kind of like a chunky glitter the reason I picked this palette and these colors is because I thought I would kind of do a look but we'll see so I think I might take a mixture between these two shades here for all the price of these sweet eyeshadow palettes they blend out so easily <laughs> it's so crazy I'm now going to take this shade here and I'm just going to use this on a slightly smaller blending brush and I'm just going to apply this also in my crease. I don't know. It's not the best, is it? I wasn't wanting to do this, but um, we're going to do a cut crease. So I'm going to do a spotlight eye, so I'm just going to focus the shadow, or so I'm just going to focus the concealer just down the centre. So I'm just using the ball of my eyeball <laughs> as my guide basically. So as you can see, I have my eye like half open and I'm just pushing the brush, like the tip of the brush in. And that's basically my eyeball. So I'm just using that as my guide. To cut the crease in that spotlight shape. Yeah, I'm going to use this shade down the center. I'm gonna try and use my finger. I'm gonna pack this shade just on the sides. Should we add some glitter? Shall we do it and I screw it? So I'm just going to use the top glitter, the finer one. This is honestly a makeup look I would have done whenever I was like 18 <laughs> and thought to myself, wow. <laughs> so I got a liquid liner. So I haven't even opened it up to see the brush yet. So it's one of those stiff foam applicators, but the tip is actually quite long, if you can see that, and it's quite flexible, you know. So hopefully, why did I do that? Oh my god, <laughs> that's awful. And if you're new to my channel, I can do better than this. Okay, so this is actually harder to work with than I thought it was gonna be. Oh my giddy odd. So then for mascara, I got the Volume High Impact Magnifying Mascara. We'll see about that. Oh, quite like the brush. Doesn't look too bad. I've actually said this quite a few times before on my channel. I don't like a mascara that's lengthening, which is really weird. I prefer mascara that gives me more volume. And this is actually what it's doing. I wasn't actually wanting to put lashes on today, but I just went on ahead and put a pair on because <laughs> I just wanted to hide this messy situation. <laughs> so the last thing we need to do now is lips. And I bought the weirdest lip combo of life. So I actually think I'm just going to line my lips with this colour and fill them in quite a bit and then maybe put this really nude lipstick in the centre and try to make like an ombre look. These wee lip liners are really good by the way. I used to use these all the time. The shade of the lip liner is in Papaya Punch. So then for lipsticks, I just got just like the wee normal MUA lipstick and this is in the shade Barely There. These wee lipsticks are a pound and they are so good. They are so, so fab. These are the ones that I always used to wear like all the time. Okay, we are definitely peel. Oh my God, you can't even say that on my pasty ass arm. 
I'm now just going to break the products up and just talk about them individually. I really, really liked this primer. Um, I actually ended up applying it twice, as you've seen. It was just, it just felt really, really hydrating and moisturising as I was blending it in and patting it into the skin. It seemed to be breaking down into like a water, like a gel water, um, which obviously is going to be very, very hydrating and moisturising. So I'll definitely continue using that. As I was saying, I have used these in the past these are absolutely fantastic wee things honestly if you're in super drug or boots or wherever you can get MUA honestly I do pick these up but they are just absolutely fantastic they just make your skin look so so nice under foundation and alone <laughs> my wee socks were blown off my wee feet um I just I was honestly not expecting a lot from this foundation and that sounds really really bad I do feel guilty in saying that because I know with some really cheap affordable brands um I'm just going to say it, their foundations are shite. <laughs> They're absolute dung. I was expecting this foundation to be a hot mess. I'm going to continue using this. This is going straight in my foundation drawer and I'm going to continue using this. Where is the concealer? Where are you, you little shit? Oh yeah, here you are. So the concealer, I was also really, really shocked by the concealer and this this was a good one. I will say it was a good one. I will definitely continue to use this again. Don't get me wrong, there was no coverage with this concealer whatsoever, which I'm definitely okay about because as I was saying, whenever I was applying this, whenever I am putting foundation on, I will put on a full coverage foundation. And if it's a sheer coverage, I'll build my foundation up until it's full coverage. So whenever it comes to concealer, I don't necessarily need a full coverage concealer. But if it is full coverage, that's all the best. But what I use my concealer for is to highlight and brighten the areas of my, of my face, especially my under eyes. And this is what it definitely did. Absolutely perfect to blend out. It sat on top perfectly of the foundation. Um, any powders that I did set on top of it has went on fine. It isn't patchy. It hasn't necessarily oxidized. I did notice that. The powder. <laughs> As the day is progressing. I don't actually think my under eyes look as lilac as they did. I don't know how I look on camera but I will say in person from what I can see my under eyes just look very ashy and kind of grey toned but I just kind of find that because my base was still tacky such as my foundation and concealer the pigment just stuck to it and just grabbed to it. I think that's why I had such a problem. So I kind of think that if I set my face first and then went on with this to brighten, I think it might work. The blusher, I'm not a fan, but you know, what can you do? It was only like a couple of pounds. There was actually more shimmer in it than pigment. So again, that's why I didn't necessarily like it. The bronzer was absolutely perfect. Definitely will be 100% using this again. I have tried the MEA bronzers in the past before and they are absolutely fab. So yeah, I'll definitely be using this. The highlights, it was nice. Not as intense as I like my highlights, but it was still nice nonetheless. And for the price, you can't really go wrong. Wrong. The eyeshadow palette was pretty average. Obviously because I do have more access these days to better eyeshadow palettes and more higher end eyeshadow palettes, this didn't necessarily perform the way I wanted it to. Back in the day I would have been like, oh this is the best eyeshadow palette ever. No, it's not. It's really not. Um, I will go to the point of saying Makeup Revolution I should do better eyeshadow palettes for the price. Um, if you're a beginner though, honestly, it's such a hit, honestly. It's worth it. The eyebrow stuff, yep, totally loved it. The eyeliner, fuck no. The mascara, meh. The glitters are definitely nice, but they're just glitters. What can you expect? But this is obviously the completed look. I am honestly so happy with how my makeup has turned out today. I am so pleasantly surprised. I cannot go over my base makeup. You will definitely see me using these base products again in the future. If there's any more one brand tutorials you would want me to do, just let me know down in the comments. Please make them affordable. Don't be saying like full face Huda BA, full face Fenty. Um, <laughs> um, I can't afford that right now. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter. They'll all be listed down below. And I hope to see you all in my next one.